Now, this crazy son of a bitch receives in the mail basically sigils from hell. The paper is marked with sigils. I'm sure it was from an X user trying to summon him a succubus, but they fucked it up because they're from X, of course. <laughs> and they sent him a cursed Sonichu medallion, and the crazy motherfucker puts it on. It's, um, been passed to me. I don't know where this came from. I don't know what it means other than what it means, but that is, um, that happened. That happened. It cost me two dollars <laughs> to pay the postage on it. He actually paid for the privilege to be cursed. Think about that. That should have been the first warning sign that there was a drug problem. Because only a junkie would be so fucked in the head to pay for the privilege to receive a fucking voodoo curse. Dude, if if you need more guns, just let me know. I'll 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 right. some. <laughs> this is friendly, I think. This is friendly. Oh, Bronca, I don't think he needs more guns based on that court reporting. Based on those police reports, Bronca, I don't think he needs more guns, maybe less guns. Maybe instead of giving him more guns and ammunition, Bronca, you could go collect them from his house so his kids don't trip on the shotguns. You know, with the spent shell casings. Because he's shooting at ceiling cats. Hey, Nick, I know you're a raging alcoholic with a coke problem. Would you like some more firearms for your house? <laughs> hey, it's me, your buddy Bronca. I've got these ARs. Hey, buddy, would you like some fucking ammunition for your massive fucking gun collection? Get the kids together and do a rail. And then show them gun safety, buddy. Yeah, no, I think he's good. I think he's good. He's been a Sonichu cursed. Oh, it's the demon. Now, initially, Chris, after... Uh, banging his mother repeatedly, went to prison. And then the spirit inhabiting him, this is the back lore of the Sonichu curse of Magichan, went into Ethan Ralph. If you remember, Ethan Ralph was on the scene and got closest to Chris. Yep, Jesse from Pot Awful, other people were there. But Ralph dressed as Chris Jan and came into contact with Chris, allowing for the possession to take his body over. And within two years, remember that timetable, Within two years, Ralph had lost a relationship with both his children from two different women, had his wife flee him, lost all his money, had to flee the United States, became a poverty junkie in Mexico, living off tortas and fighting street dogs so he can get a night's sleep in his metal shed. <laughs> and then once Ralph had been punished enough, Magichan, after having fed on his soul for long enough, decided, hey, that Ricada guy, it looks kind of tasty. That Rikita guy, maybe I'll go over, see what he's up to. And what does he do? He puts the fucking medallion on. He takes the medallion and he puts it on himself like a psychopath. So this is this is kind of theory number one. You know, it's one of those one of those components as to what happened to Nick Rikita. That he's been possessed by the demon that compelled an autistic man to butt fuck his mother. And drove a fat retard into pill addiction and alienating his entire fucking family from his life. And now, after having put on this cursed totem, everything has fallen apart for Nick. And it did so in roughly the same amount of time. I guess this goes to say that if somebody sends you a Sonichu medallion, destroy it. And then beat the shit out of them because they're trying to curse you. They're not your friend. Now, you may think this is all laughs and jokes, chat. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, it's all funny. But I'll have you know that professional paranormal investigators are weighing in on this. Maybe you're familiar with uh, the irate gamer, okay? Chris Bores, you remember him? Well, after he put down the video games, he decided he was going to go bust some ghosts. He wanted to be a real-life Egon. And he's out there giving advice after having watched the case of Nick Ricada. Hey guys, Chris the Ghost Doctor here. And last night I ended up answering a question about a online personality. I guess his name is Nick Rikita. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know who this guy is, but my reply ended up getting a lot of buzz. So I went I told everybody that I would do a video on this and kind of explain things in a little bit more detail. So 
Uh, they sent me some pictures of this guy back in like 2019 as compared to now. And if you see him back in 2019, he's very uh, full. He looks full of life. He talks very well. And now his face is very gaunt in his videos. I guess he slurs his words. Now, uh, all jokes aside, right? And I know this is funny. There's another Boars video we're going to watch too. But like, he's unfamiliar with Nick. All right, like Chris is off doing his own shit. He's doing, like, ghost stuff and video game stuff. He has no idea who the fuck Nick Riccata is. But even him, an outside observer who has no knowledge of Nick at all, looked at a picture of him from just a few years ago and compared it to what he currently looks like. And he's like, yep, that's dumb. That's demonic possession. This guy is so fucked up, it has to be demons. That's how fucked up. To a normal outside observer, Nick Riccata looks right now, the fall, the change between just a few years ago and now to a completely neutral third party. He looks so bad he's convinced he has Hellspawn living in his fucking soul. On the verge of passing out uh, from time to time and people are, are like, what is going on with this guy? Because I guess he, he's, he's an alcoholic. Uh, at one point he put a necklace on and, and I guess there's some theories out there that it was cursed and, and could that do anything? And yeah, absolutely. I'm not going to say that's the complete catalyst of it, but it could have him putting a, a, a necklace on that somebody sent him that is cursed could have opened the door. If you don't know how to properly cleanse yourself or your 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 space, you know, once these things start to slip in, they can kind of like plant their flag and start to invade that space and wreak all kinds of havoc on their life. I think it somebody told you he, he, he divorced over time, I saw. Uh, so yeah, they can just get in and, and cause all kinds of havoc in your life. And I saw that he's an alcoholic too, and that's kind of taken over his life as well. And the problem with this is uh, every vice, human vice out there, drugs, alcohol, even porn, has their own frequency level that attracts beings in. They have their own frequency beings. Uh, so <laughs> okay, just the people, okay, one thing you need to know about Nick is that over the last year, as he's done multiple streams, he will occasionally start to look around the room, baffled, in silence. He'll stare off into a certain direction, or he'll stare up at the ceiling. And people have made jokes about ceiling cats inhabiting his house and living in the rafters, or a literal corner demon, which he looks at all the time. And this is our ghost expert, Certified, 100% believable Chris Boars, he's a fucking expert, concluding that yes, the frequency of Magichan has um, instantiated itself, is that the word I'm looking for? Has, has become corporeal and latched onto Nick, and is now living in his house. So when you look at those old clips of Nick Riccato, why is he looking off in the corner? What is he doing? Our ghost expert here is confirmed. In fact, he is staring at demons. Literal hell spawn. You know, you have these alcoholic spirits uh, around you, constantly feeding off you because they love that. You know, they're they're not living. They can't drink a beer, so they have to drink it through you. They're they're feeding off you, and <laughs> you see, Nick Riccata is not really an alcoholic. <laughs> Nick Riccata is Nick Riccata's not really an alcoholic. The demon inhabiting him is. <laughs> That's a great. Anybody ever use that one at AA? Uh, I you know, fuck your twelve steps. Okay, I'm possessed by Satan, and Satan is a fucking alcoholic. This is not my fault. All right, it's his. This is why we see the life force kind of like draining out of this guy over over time because maybe that's exactly what's going on. Something is feeding off him. There, are, I've come up with different classifications of spirits, and parasite spirits are just one of those things. They feed off people, places, and things. So yeah, this is this is a thing. I, I I'm dead serious here. Uh, over time, he's got also gotten. Uh, talking about sex more and sex acts and things like that and that's another attribute to this you know you get more guttural uh in all your actions because you have no imit inhibit um inhibitions basically basically what chris is saying is yo i looked at this dude and all he does is massive rails of coke and um drink himself stupid and fuck whores it has to be demons now there's there's a little more to the video but i think you get the gist of it he even did a follow-up video talking about the, the, the medallion itself. How could you get rid of this evil totem? <laughs> how, how is he not like the King of X, by the way? Holy shit. 
Ghost Dr. Chris here, and today I want to talk about curse removal because I'm getting a lot of questions on, you know, if you have a medallion, a Sonic 2 medallion, how do you remedy that situation? How do you get rid of this curse? So the best way and most effective way is to throw the item away, get it out of your house. Uh, you, it, if this thing ha does have an attachment or like a tulpa-like energy attached to it that's causing havoc on the unseen level that you can't see, just get it out of your house. It, it causes uh, chaos once it's there and once it's in your house, it's going to plant its flag in your house and start causing all kinds of uh, chaos that, that ramps up. Yeah, like, maybe burn the fucking thing. You know, I, I'm not a huge paranormal guy. I like it for the entertainment value of it. But Chris isn't wrong here. Again, he's the fucking expert. He's, I love the fact, too. Can we all take a minute to appreciate the fact that, you know, he got shit for so long for being a, a knockoff AVGN. And now he's like a ghost expert weighing in on the demonic possession of Nick Ricada by Magichan. I, ho I love that. I want him to do more videos on it. I'm not even bullshitting. I fucking love it. I want to see Chris Bores investigate the paranormal. We need that. I need that in my life as short as it is, Chris, please. When I die, I'll become a ghost. I'll be your sidekick. We can work together. And this is my helper spirit, Medicare. He also likes to attach to people and make them do obnoxious things. <laughs> None of this is my fault. It's all Jim. He's doing it. So Chris, Chris is a expert recommendation. Burn the fucking thing. What are you doing, Nick? Are you stupid? You got an anonymous letter with demon sigils on it. And you put it on like an idiot. He just, uh, he tempted fate. Magic Chan got a hold of him. Now, it, <laughs> this is such a weird thing to talk about, but it is bizarre that everybody that's possessed this stupid little medallion has had horrible things happen. Chris Chan going to prison for banging his mommy. Ethan Ralph's life imploding. And now Nick Ricada is under arrest for drug and weapon charges. I don't know which e-celeb is going to get this next. But burn the fucking thing. Throw it out a window. Have your neighbor roll over it with their car. You don't want Magic Chan knocking on your door. But what you do want. What you really want to make sure of is that you buy one of those Magic Chan posters or one of the Magic Chan puzzles available at my, or medicare.myshopify.com. Quality work. Don't worry, Magic Chan likes the merchandise. It's okay, I checked ahead of time. I checked ahead of time. You know, these cursed images, these, these, uh, uh, these cursed totems aren't the only thing. I like to point you to a cursed image. There's Necrocata along with uh, other individuals, all of whom have had bad outcomes. And this had nothing to do with Magic Chan. The man directly sitting next to him, Coach Red Pill, or as Nick likes to refer to him when he's drunk and high as a kite, Chef Red Pill, mm -hmm. Chef's Kiss, got his head blown off in the Ukraine. <laughs> he's dead. Coach is fucking dead. Ethan Ralph with a double thumbs up, showing the uh, sexual prowess he possesses when he... <laughs> When he gives a little uh, truffle hunting to a hooker, uh, had his life imploded. And then we got uh, we got Andy over there, who currently is doing pretty well, but he did have his whole aim 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 thing, and uh, was really down in the doldrums for a while there. All four of these people, real bad luck, and Nick's been the latest victim, which makes you wonder: was anybody else there? If we're talking about bad luck and curses, if we're talking about who's next on the hit list. For some nefarious uh, ectoplasmic evil that lurks out there. That's hunted these men down for some reason because of their gathering in Knoxville. Who's not in this picture? Who, was el who else was at Knoxville that might be a future victim? I wonder. Who could it be?
I mean, it's not like it's not like he's out there challenging the spirit of Magic Chan, saying, "Bring!" Oh my God, he is. Josh on Twitter, wear the medallion or shut up, you worthless limp cock. To which Dick Masterson responds, "Send me the medallion. The demon must be guarded." After watching everything that's happened, Dick, really? Are you challenging Magic Chan? <laughs> Magic Chan, uh, the demonic tulpa that's destroyed three men now? And now you're begging for the curse to come to you? That's what Nick did. With open arms, he said, give it to me. I don't know if we want to do that, Dick. That sounds like you're tempting fate. Oh. Oh, my God. Bad outcomes. Bad, bad outcomes, Chet. <laughs> So that was one of the theories that existed. And as silly as it sounds, uh, you know, people have really been kind of uh, taken aback by this whole <laughs> cursed medallion thing. Now, if it ends up going to Dick Masterson and everything falls apart for him, like that's, we're predicting that, right? If Dick Masterson gets this medallion and puts it on, he is officially cursed. And within two years, everything will fall apart. If that's the truth, that that happens, then we know this shit's real. And that Magic Chan is some kind of demon internet spirit. That we have all some, uh, what is it, a uh, uh, Tulpa, uh, a Grigori, whatever you want to call it. That the internet itself is given life to. From all the negative energy of watching Chris Chan, we have created and crafted this demonic being that is hunting down micro e <laughs> And Dick Masterson is, with open arms, inviting it to come visit him. So start the fucking clock if by May 2026, after receiving this fucking medallion, something horrific happens to him. We know Magic Chan is very real. And of course, you're going to want to have one of those posters and puzzles as a commemorative uh, 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 <laughs> commemorative item. It'll be worth some resale value. Of course, you know, these are it's all fun and games, right, when we're talking about this. Because realistically... What what has done Nick in? It's easy to say that, you know, he didn't he didn't listen to people when they gave him some advice about what he should do. You know, it was a, a demonic spirit, but it was his own actions. He gave in to his own actions. He didn't moderate his behavior. He didn't, uh, you know, kind of slow his roll. He went a little off in the deep end with the drinking and potentially with the drug use. He should have listened to the He-Man PSA. Remember those 80s shows? Where they used to give you lessons as a child and tell you, hey, you don't want to grow up to be a fucking loser, do you? We well, should listen to He-Man. He never took the advice. Look where he is now. In today's story, Elena tried taking a magic potion which she thought would help her. Well, she found out there aren't any magic potions. And you know what? There aren't any magic drugs either. Anytime you take one from anybody but your parents or your doctor, you're taking a very big chance. You're gambling with your health maybe even your life. Drugs don't make your problems go away. They just create more.